Hello, this is Mark Sidonio from learningexchange.ptc.com, and this tutorial is creating a CAM follower connection, spring, and damper. The first step is to open up the mechanism application. So I'm first going to click on the Applications tab, and then choose Mechanism. Now I'm going to click on the Drag Components button, and I'm going to choose the CAM follower. Now notice, when I use the Drag tool, my CAM part and my follower assembly don't follow each other when I rotate the cam part. To get them to follow each other, I'm going to add a cam follower connection. So I'm just going to click OK and close out of this for now. And I'm going to click on the cams button. A dialog box is going to appear in the corner. The first thing it asks me is to set cam 1. The first thing I'm going to do is check the auto select box. Then I'm going to select the curved surface on my cam part. Then click OK. Now I'm going to define CAM2, so I'm going to again click Auto Select. Then I'm going to select the curved surface on my follower subassembly. Then choose OK. Now if we click on the Properties tab, there are two more options we can select. One of them is Lift Off and the other one is Friction, but for this demonstration we're just going to leave them as is. And choose OK. Now I'm going to again click on the Drag Components button. Now notice how differently the assembly acts now that I added the cam follower. The next thing I'm going to do is add a spring. So I'm going to click on the springs button. The first thing it wants me to do is to select my references. So to do this I'm going to click on tools, then find, and I'm looking for a point, and I'm going to search the entire assembly, so I'm just going to click find now. And these two are the points I'm looking for, so I'm just going to click this to select them and then press close. Now I'm going to click back on the spring tab and notice it added my two references. First I'm going to select the units for the spring stiffness constant to be newtons per meter and I'm going to set that to be 100. Next I'm going to set the units for the unstretched spring length to be in millimeters and I'm going to select 60. Now I'm going to click on the options tab and check adjust icon diameter, make the dimensions millimeters, and I'm going to set that to 15. I'm going to click check. Next we're going to add the damper, so we're going to click on the dampers button. A damper removes energy from the moving mechanism by creating a force proportional to the velocity of the moving mechanism. Now the first thing it's asking me is to find my references. So I'm going to choose the same references as I did for my spring. So I'm going to choose Tools, Find, and it's already selected as a point, so I'm just going to select Find Now. And I'm going to choose the same two points and move them over. I'm going to now click on the Damper tab and choose my references. Make sure they're there. They are. Now I'm going to change the units for my damper coefficient to be Newton seconds per meter. And I'm going to set this to be 100 and I'm going to click the check mark to finish the damper. I'm going to click on the drag components tool one last time and notice how the spring expands and contracts when the cam rotates. Well thank you for watching my tutorial. This is Mark Tidonio from learningexchange.ptc.com. Feel free to check out more content at PTC University or at learningexchange.ptc.com.